Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Transformers Generations, Power of the Primes. This is Terracon Cutthroat. As you can see, this is a deluxe class figure. Uh, it comes in clamshell packaging. Uh, there's Abominus. Uh, let me see. On the side there. The Power of the Primes symbols. <clears throat> Let's move him out of the way for a second. There's the back. Terracon Cutthroat. How will the merciless Terracon Shock Trooper wield the Power of the Primes? And we have Megatronus the Dark Warrior. Solus Prime, Weapons Forger, and Quintus Prime, the Cedar of Life. And there's Cutthroat in Robot Mode and uh, Beast Mode. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way. And it came with a card. And this is Micronus Cutthroat. Power links to share his destructive rage. Pretty cool. Came with instructions, but I will say Cutthroat was the hardest of the Terracons to figure out how to transform properly. Um, not that he was difficult by any means, but out of the five, he was the toughest to figure out. So here he is in his robot mode. This is how he comes. In the package let me go ahead and angle this down there we go all right so to transform him well first let's go over his articulation his arms go up to about there they swivel around uh, his hands go in like that uh, let's see, his head Spins all the way around. Legs go up to there. Back to there all the way. Out to the side. Uh, they do swivel. Uh, they bend at the knees. And he does have waist articulation as well. Alright, so. Uh, and he does have a really nice looking robot mode. Um, pretty good looking. So to transform him, let's go ahead and take his gun out. We'll put him into beast mode first, and then we'll sh I'll show you how to put him into leg mode, which I don't really use, and then we'll put him into arm mode, which is how he'll form uh, Abominus. So. Beast mode. Let's go ahead and put his arms out. We'll bring the wings out like that. Okay. And this one's a little different than the others. It folds down and up like that. Okay. See how that works. This purple piece here fits inside like that. All right. So you bring it out and down, okay, and they peg together. These square pegs here go right into those clips there. Same way on the back too, okay. Once you got that, you can bring the legs down. Now be careful because he does like to come unpegged quite a bit. I wish they would have found a better way to do him because he does like to come un unpegged quite a bit. Uh, you'll fold the tail down just like that. It doesn't doesn't snap into place or anything. It just folds down like that. Now you're going to want to bring the hands in both sides. Okay. And then you're going to rotate them around. Uh, 
just like that and see that rectangular peg there that is going to fit right into that groove there It is slightly, not really difficult, but a pain because things like to come undone. And we'll do the same thing with this side. There we go. This side got in, now this side. Okay, didn't really snap into place, but it's fine. Now, what you want to do is just bring the head up and it goes over the robot head. Oh no, it came unplugged. Hold tight, guys. Okay. That, uh, that was pretty difficult. <laughs> but anyway. Just be careful, otherwise it's going to snap off. Bring the uh, bring this piece up. Okay. Alright. And then, what you want to do, this actually connects into here. Okay. See... That little, let me, that piece right here, uh, it's on both sides, right there and there. And that will actually peg in to these square pieces here. But you're going to want to bring the wings up slightly, otherwise it's not going to hold right. wrong way. You want the peg facing out. Just like that. Alright. And then the gun. I wish they would have put a hole in the center or something because I don't like it when they're off to the side unless there's two of them. Ah, oh, no. Okay. So just like that. Um, and now his... Now his beast head is kind of... Loose. I don't like that. Anyway, that's... Uh, that's how you put him into beast mode. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Just like that. And he's pretty, he's pretty cool. I like him. Um, now... We're going to go ahead and put him into leg mode. Which... Let me double check something real quick. Alright, so for leg mode... We already took the backpack off. What you'll do... Bring the head forward a little bit. You bring up the connector. You'll bring up the legs. Just like that. Okay. Then that square peg will peg right into that square hole. Same with this side. Okay, then you fold the wings down like that. Okay, and then take the blaster out of that. What I like to do to add a little bit of stability. Take the hand piece, peg it into the back 
of the uh, blaster that comes with hunger. Because the blaster doubles as a foot. Just like that, right? And then that right there is going to peg into that hole. Okay? And there he is in leg mode. And something else I like to do. Let's see. Well, I like to have all the blasters kind of sticking out, but with cutthroat, there's really no way to do that. So we just peg it in. It has a smaller peg. Pegs in right there. Okay. There he is in leg mode, which looks good. It's real good. So let's go ahead and take that back out. Okay. Now we're going to put him into arm mode. And he's going to be the left arm of Abominus. So that pegs it just like that. Okay. Now bring the wings back out. And we're going to bring the legs down. The uh, cannon can stay there. And they're going to peg together just like before, only now they're extended. Now, like I said, the legs really like to fight you. There we go. There's that. Okay. Now, detach the arms. You're going to rotate them around just like that, I believe. Let me double check. You're going to bend them just like that. And these rectangular pegs will fit right into there. Just like that. Same with the other side. Okay, then the arms, I mean the wings. They'll peg in. That rectangular piece will, that rectangular piece will fit into that rectangular hole. Same with the other side. Alright. And then, since he's going to be the left arm of Abominus, we bring the head up just like that. Now this part is where my OCD kind of kicks in. Because his head is facing out that way. Um... With Center Twin, since I like having him as the right arm, his head faces inward towards Abominus. So, I really wish there was a way, unless... Unpeg this. There we go. Flip it around, maybe. No, that doesn't look good. I don't like that. Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah, you can't really flip it around. His head doesn't turn or anything. And whenever I tried putting the head back on, the uh, bottom part of the beak 
fell back out. So, yeah, uh, that's something I don't like about these. Is that they're really... Um, kind of cheaply done. So anyway, we take the hand, bring it out. Um, I'm going to leave that pegged in for now. We just plug it into the bottom, same place we plugged in the foot. Now this one doesn't like to cooperate. So there he is in arm mode, just like that, form the left arm of Abominus, and that's how I like him. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at Hunger, and then the video after that, we're going to assemble Abominus. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.